What does a room and a brain have in common? I'll give you a second to think on it. I bet you didn't say light. And I bet you're wondering what on earth that connection really is. And if turning on a light can really be that powerful. Well, I've got news for you. And the answer is both good and bad. In today's 10 minute memory hack, we're going to talk about how different forms of light can be responsible for both brightening and dimming your memory muscle. Hi, I'm Julia Lundstrom, a neuroscience and brain health educator, as well as the CEO of Simple Smart Science. Today, we start you on a journey that's going to tap into your brain's ultimate potential and rewrite the story of your mind. So subscribe now to get more 10 minute memory hacks every single week. Let's start with the basics. It's easy to think of light as nothing more than white brilliance that brightens our rooms and illuminates our tablets and radiates from our phones. However, there's a big secret that's hidden within this seemingly ordinary part of our lives that we tend to overlook. We tend to see light as a singular color. Often this is a white hue, but in reality, light is a kaleidoscope of colors, each with its own distinctive wavelength and its very own superpower. To fully grasp just how complex light really is, let's imagine it as the rainbow that it truly is, with its infinite spectrum of colors. The visible spectrum of light typically refers to the range of colors that we can see with our human eye. You know, the rainbow red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. There are two colors in particular on the light spectrum that we want to pay special attention to. One that can improve your brain health and one that could potentially destroy it. Let's dig in. First off, let's start with the blue light. This is the troublemaker of the two. Blue light has been linked to poor sleep, mood swings, and memory fog. Now imagine your brain's like a clock. Tick, tick, tick and it has a special time for sleeping and waking up. This clock is called your circadian rhythm. That's what helps you to know when to sleep and when to wake up. But here's the tricky part. When you look at the screens like phones or tablets and they give off a bright blue light that tricks your brain into thinking it's still daytime. It's like telling your brain it's party time even though it's bedtime. So when you're exposed to this blue light, falling asleep and staying asleep sometimes becomes challenging. It's as if your brain is dancing at a late night disco party when it should be winding down for sleep. Research shows that excessive blue light usage during the day and night can impair melatonin release by up to three hours. Now, think about how you would feel if someone kept making loud noises and disturbing you when you're trying to relax. You'd probably get a bit grumpy, right? Well, blue light does something similar to your brain. It keeps sending strong signals like that annoying friend who won't stop bothering you. These signals can make your emotions go up and down. You might start feeling a little annoyed, maybe even restless. Research published in Nature Neuroscience showed that excessive blue light exposure may alter brain activity in the parts of our brains connected to mood regulation and cognition. This alteration could have implications for mental health and cognitive function, but not only that, Research suggests that prolonged exposure to blue light from screens, particularly during nighttime, may contribute to mood disorders such as depression and bipolar disorder. And guess what? Blue light might even mess with your memory. Imagine you have a puzzle in your brain and you want to put all the pieces together to remember things clearly. But when you're exposed to too much blue light, it's like a fog that makes it hard to see those puzzle pieces. It blurs your thoughts and it makes it tricky to remember things. A study in the Journal of Sleep Research in 2018 investigated the effects of blue light exposure on memory and found that participants exposed to blue light before bedtime showed reduced memory performance compared to those exposed to dim light. So turn your ebooks back into real books to read before bedtime and put those phones away before bed. But here's where it gets a little interesting. Some scientists say that a little bit of blue light in the morning can be like having a super cool brain boosting shot of espresso. It wakes up your brain and makes you feel alert and happy, just like when you have your favorite breakfast to start the day. So here's the secret. You can enjoy the benefits of blue light in the daytime when it's like a friendly helper in the morning. But when the sun starts to set, 
it's a good idea to limit the time you spend with screens. It gives off lots of blue light. This way your brain can rest properly at night and feel refreshed in the morning. Here's a cool trick. You can wear special glasses called blue light glasses to protect your eyes from too much blue light. They're like tiny shields that help the bright blue light stay away when you need it the most. Most phones and devices also have a setting where you can adjust the warmness and brightness of your phone, and newer ones even have a blue light dimmer on the display screen. Turning down the brightness and increasing the warmth are both surefire ways to reduce any blue light exposure. Now that we have the troublemaker out of the way, let's talk about the good light, red light. And honestly, I will probably make another video on the benefits of red light because there are just thousands of supporting studies out there showing just how incredible this form of light really is. And it could be the missing key to a life of longevity for many. So red light, often associated with warmth and comfort, holds several remarkable benefits for your brain. Sleep is when your brain takes a break and does important work like cleaning up and organizing memories and recharging for the next day. Red light plays the role of a lullaby, just like the ones your parents sang to you before bed. Studies have shown that red light helps you fall asleep faster and enjoy deeper, more restful sleep. It can even add up to 34 extra minutes of sleep to your night. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but sleeping pills have been shown to only add 18 extra minutes a night. So red light, sleeping pills, I'll take the red light. Another study published in Chronobiology International in 2017 explained the impact of different colors of light, including red light, on melatonin production. Red light was found to have a weaker suppressive effect on melatonin compared to blue light, making it a potentially better option for evening lighting. This goes back to the warmness settings on your phone, where it is a very low grade red light. But not only that, research is ongoing to assess the potential benefits of red light therapy in managing sleep disorders, such as insomnia and restless leg syndrome and sleep apnea. Now, when it comes to mood, think of red light as your brain's cheerful buddy. When your brain basks in the red light, neurochemicals called endorphins get released that allow you to start to feel really happy and calm. And especially when seasons start to change into winter, we may really want to take note of this one. Studies published in JAMA Psychiatry in 2016 have investigated the use of light therapy, including red light, in managing symptoms of seasonal affective disorder and improving mood. To bring more of this calming light into your life, using red light devices can certainly help, or light bulbs. You can buy them almost anywhere these days. They're designed to emit a specific wavelength of red light that promotes relaxation. If you're lucky enough to have a red light infrared sauna at one of your local gyms or spas or even at your home, then you are in luck. These are full body devices where you lie down on a bed or a mat and emits red light and near infrared light. They can provide similar benefits to the smaller panels that you can get online, but they obviously cover a larger surface area. However you end up incorporating these devices, know now the power of light and use that to your advantage. And now I wanna hear from you. How do you use light to improve your health? Do you have any favorite products you'd like to share with everybody else? Let me know in the comments and remember to click like and subscribe to follow along for more 10 minute memory hacks every single week. Thank you.